Splinter Lands Marketplace Peak Monsters is starting their own token PKM and you might just be getting some airdrop to you for free. So stay tuned. Hello, hola, Kamusa. This is Luke with Luke Plays to Earn as I help the Krills, the little small investors, play to earn. And today we are talking about Peak Monsters with their new token and airdrop PKM. This is quite exciting. If you don't know Peak Monsters, essentially they are a secondary marketplace for Splinterlands, one of the best marketplaces. Actually, I'm just going to say it is the best marketplace and they are now putting out their own token which is going to be airdrop for people who use Peak Monsters to buy Splinterlands cards. So let's go through the announcement and some of the white paper to show you what this token is and how you will earn it. So you can see here, they're gonna have tokens to determine who Peak Monsters will share profits with. They're gonna create Peak Monsters uh, tournaments that you're gonna have to use the PKM to enter into and to validate creation of new features, which I'm assuming we're gonna be able to vote on. And then thirdly, they're gonna have the creation of new special features for loyal Peak Monsters users only. So we don't know exactly what those features will be, but Jarvi let me know they will be for Peak Monsters specific. And so maybe, you know, use your PKM tokens and you get the extra feature of knowing which cards are best to flip. I don't know what features they're gonna come out with, uh, but you can expect that they're gonna be useful. So here's the schedule coming out. Today was the announcement and creation of it. They're gonna be a liquidity pool for SPS. So in case you wanna to add to it and earn that way, or if you wanted to swap your PKM earnings to SPS, uh, there is going to be a liquidity pool starting on March 14th. There's gonna be a tournament here with PKM rewards on the 18th. The start of large transaction bonus airdrops on the 21st. Big airdrop March 23rd, and then the reward pools and start of weekly airdrops will be March 30th. So the way the airdrop is going to work is basically how much do you use peak monsters, how many cards do you buy, how much is your volume, and then there's going to be bonuses for large transactions, which they count as $10 and up. So if you go buy, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a card, let's say you go buy a level 2 Kelia for $15 and you make all that purchase at one time, then that would be counting towards a large transaction bonus. Then on March 3rd is gonna be the big airdrop. So it's gonna be 52 times what the weekly airdrop is going to be. This is going to be based on what your current tier on Peak Monsters is. So that initial airdrop will be your biggest earning and then after that will just be a weekly drop starting on March 30th. So you can see the tiers are what it's gonna base your token airdrop on. This is how much you are buying on Peak Monsters, not selling, that doesn't unfortunately count towards your tier here. But you can see here that, let's say you spend 10 bucks, then you're in tier two, $50 on Peak Monsters uh, tier three, and then four is $250. From there, probably most of us as Krills, we're not gonna be spending this amount of money here, but you never know for some of you out there that have a little more funds or have been trading and flipping cards, all those things are going to impact it if you're doing it on Peak Monsters. Uh, but let's say you spent you know, tier four, $250, you're gonna get that weekly 1.44 PKM and a yearly estimate of 75 tokens. Now, if you're curious on what your current tier is, you just come to peakmonsters.com, click on your profile, and it should show you on the left side here, what your account tier is. Mine is Rexy Rancher number four. Remember, this is based on the last year. So let's say you spent $500 366 days ago, that will no longer count towards your account volume. Now you can see here the token dynamics, most all of it, three quarters is going to be airdropped to the community based on who's using the Peak Monster site. So the rest of it is just for things like uh, liquidity, partnership, and then the team only getting 5%. So this is heavily trying to reward and incentivize you to use peak monsters so that the community is the one really getting most of the tokens here. They don't have an exact schedule. You can see here that, uh, you know, even if there's a 10 X in market user base, there will still be airdrops for 10 years. However, you can see it's a really slow rate as of right now, uh, not being depleted for a hundred years. So they're trying to balance out, you know, the, the future of Splinterlands and if it increases and the market goes crazy, then they still want to have enough tokens to last, you know, another 10 years of rewarding players. But if not, then it's going to be another century <laughs> about until all these tokens are released. So you can see uh, it could be some time unless the game continues to grow and people use Pico Monsters more and more and more. 
Now, of course, no one knows what the price and value of PKM is going to be until we start seeing airdropped tokens and then people trying to swap or use them on the market. But some things you can do is you can obviously just hold them. They're going to have a use case for them for specific uh, peak monster features and for tournaments here coming up. They're gonna be, you're gonna be able to pull them with your SPS and actually share some of the Peak Monsters marketplace profits when you do that. And then you're gonna be able to sell it if you want to swap some of your PKM for SPS and Splinterlands. Of course, you can also just buy it if you're not getting a bunch from the airdrop and you can do things like that to pull it into the SPS or use it for the tournaments. So you can see right off the bat, the team members are putting up 210,000 SPS into this liquidity pool, adding $20,000 worth of tokens. They're going to start adding 1 million PKM to the reward pool. And then most months they say they're going to be above worth $3,000 worth of tokens to share out to those putting into the liquidity pool. And then down here they have a recap, which essentially is just saying, hey, you use peak monsters, you're going to earn free tokens. If you take the risk about putting those tokens into an SPS pool, you also earn more rewards on top of that. Then over here, they have a white paper where you can see the full details of the PKM token. A lot of it is covered in the announcement, but if you want to go into further detail, you can look at this white paper as well. So pretty exciting stuff. If you ask me as someone who uses Peak Monsters a lot, again, I think it is the best marketplace, so you should be using it already. Although the one case where I have used other marketplaces like card auctions or Mo Monster Market is to get that 3% DEC back. But maybe those instant purchases I'll be making on Peak Monsters now instead so that I can increase my tier or get those large $10 purchase bonuses so I get more PKM tokens. Is that enough incentive to, for all players to just jump ship and start using Peak Monsters instead of Monster Market? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, obviously, it depends on you know what these rewards look at like. You know what, what is the price of this token? No one knows quite yet, but it is exciting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and we'll talk there. For now, peace out. Palam. Adios. See you later.